I feel like if I had a good Emma Chamberlain or David Dobrik or Mr. Beast video next to a Tanamojo video, I'm gonna click the others and not the Tanamojo video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope that you had an amazing holiday time with your family, friends, if you were by yourself. I hope that you had a good time by yourself. Happy New Year. I'm actually so, so pumped for 2021. I know that a lot of good things are coming our way. We have to manifest that and just believe it. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me the YouTubers that you watch and I'm gonna like let you know what I think about your preferences. Not that my opinion should matter at all actually, but you know, I thought this would be a cool video idea. These videos have literally been all over my recommended and I've pretty much watched all of them. I watched Cody Ko's, Emma's, I think James Charles made one as well, and Lord DIY, Alicia Marie, you name it, I've watched it. All of them are hilarious and they kind of all did their own take on them, so that's why I'm gonna be ranking your YouTubers that you watch. Bruh. Hold on guys, I have to make this thing. I didn't know you actually had to make a whole uh, tier maker thingy. So let's go over my tier list. On top we got, I watch religiously, which means I'm subscribed to you, you're literally popping off, you're literally killing it in the YouTube game. Top, top, top of the tier. Next we got, I'm subscribed, which I support you and I like your channel, but you know, once in a while I miss one or two videos, you know, I'm not very like active on your channel, but I'm subscribed, you know? We got, get your coin, which is like, I'll see you on my recommendation Recommended and perhaps maybe I'll click on it. First of all, no matter what, I respect every single person that has a YouTube channel. Me having one myself, I know it takes a lot of work to edit, film, all that jazz. So this is just for shits and giggles. This is for funsies. So if you really like a YouTuber and they're in like a lower category, please don't get offended. Um, I promise this is just for funsies. Next we got, not my cup of tea, but I respect, which is like, I wouldn't personally go out of my way to watch this channel, but like, I still respect you, you know? Like, good for you. You're probably killing it, and I'm sure there are tons of people that... Oh my god, has this been in the frame the whole time? Probably. <sighs> Guys, this video has taken me three hours to get it started, but let's just get back into it. This is why I respect YouTubers. A professional YouTuber would have redone that whole scene all over again, but I have a nail appointment in an hour, so I can't do that. At the bottom of my tier, I got no, with the two fairies right next to it. Just simply because I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I just wouldn't watch that person or that channel, or there are reasons why I wouldn't watch them, or their content is just really not my cup of tea. So let's get started. We got a couple of familiar faces here, some that I don't know. Let's just start off strong with the one and only Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain, iconic. Um, don't know if I want to put her in I watch religiously or I'm subscribed. She's definitely up there though. I love her channel. There are certain videos where I like see the thumbnail and I'm like, I don't have to watch that, you know? Like, I don't have to watch it. But I do have to say her personality is very likable and I just love the fact that she's so like simplistic with it like she's just naturally funny she doesn't have to do much to her videos um love her so I'm gonna put her in watch religiously because not gonna lie I do be watching her sometimes I feel like if I met her in real life she would be the exact same person that I'm watching when I go on YouTube so she's on I watch religiously Oh, someone said Nick Avocado. I'm just gonna right away put him in the no-no list. I never really watched any of his videos. I feel like the only reason why I even knew who this person was was because it was like a drama channel mentioning him or like I'm scared of Nick Avocado or like why I'm not friends with Nick Avocado type of videos. And then it intrigued me a little bit. I was like, who is this Nick Avocado person? And then I was like, oh my God, he's like a mukbanger. Like I love mukbangs. But then like right off the bat, I was like, nope. Not really my cup of tea. I saw certain things that I like don't even really agree with necessarily. So I don't even want to put him on like not my cup of tea, but I respect. I want to put him in like the no. You know? Sorry if you like watching him. These are just my opinions. Just for funsies, remember? 
Next we got the Walsh family. This is one of like the groups of people that I can say that I actually watch everyone in the group. For example, I know down the list someone also put vlog squad. We'll get into that, but like I don't watch everyone in the vlog squad. However, with the Walsh family, I could say I watch everyone and everyone's like channel is so different from one another which makes it so interesting and so fun and fresh brandon has like this kind of like reality tv vibe to his channel which i love and like you can tell he puts in a lot of work in his videos kennedy is more creative um her videos are honestly always out of the box which is great because you love to watch new and fresh content. Claudia, she's just like a cutie bae. Love her vlogs, love her friendship with Devora. Just super entertaining to watch. And then the parents are just so funny. Like it's so funny when like it's one video and they're both in it, but like they're never together cause like they hate each other. So yeah, the Walsh family, I'm gonna put right up there with Miss Emma Chamberlain in the I watch religiously. Next we got Impulsive. Impulsive is like tricky for me because I do love listening to a good podcast, but I don't watch every single one. So I'm gonna do I'm subscribed um, just because I don't watch every single one. I kind of just watch the ones that I'm like, ooh, there could be some tea here or like, ooh, I could learn something here. So yeah, but I love Impulsive, love Mike, love Logan. This is like the type of stuff that I put on when I'm like getting ready or like when I'm doing my hair kind of like fun background noise and like I know I don't have to be watching the video so like impulsive is like the best of both worlds because you just have to listen to it but like there's also visuals which is great so they're gonna be an unsubscribed they're pretty up there but I don't watch every single one of their episodes Someone said the Ace Family. Not gonna lie, I used to watch them religiously. Like this is one of the channels that I would watch every single day. Anytime I could, I would watch the Ace Family. And this is when it was just like Austin, Catherine, and Elle. They didn't have Alea, they didn't have Baby Steel. Now, I don't really watch them that often just because I don't know. I don't want to talk my shit, but the vibes that I've been getting from Austin lately are just not it. So lots of scandals. I know like obviously nobody knows what it is behind closed doors. We only see such a small portion of their lives, but I don't know, man. I go with my intuition and like some things just like, mm just like not interested anymore also. And um, I love their kids, but just not my cup of tea anymore. So I'm gonna put them in not my cup of tea, but respect. I'm sure there is a very specific group of people that watch them and like respect. It takes a lot of work, like their parents and their recording and their editing. I mean, I don't know if they edit their own videos, but respect the grind. Now we got Mr. James Charles. His videos are literally his videos are just so well put together. I'm sure he has an amazing like group of people around him that like help him with everything. An amazing team, which is why his videos are so well put, well thought of, nicely edited. I don't know. Everything about Mr. James Charles is 10 out of 10. He's definitely going on I Watch Religiously because I do love a little sister segment. So that's someone that I personally watch too. So he's going on I Watch Religiously. Love you, Mr. James. So someone said Mr. Beast, he's also like so great. I feel like me and my subscribers are pretty alike. I, You guys are mentioning people that I watch and I love watching or have watched and loved watching. Hmm, Mr. Beast is gonna go, he's gonna go under the category of I'm subscribed just because TBH, I haven't watched his latest videos, but I do love a good Mr. Beast video. Love the competitiveness of it. He is so fucking smart. I wish I was like his friend, you know? He would probably give me some good ass advice on what to make, how to grow my channel. Like he just seems like such a genuine person too. I feel like if I reached out to Mr. Beast, like there would be a chance of him replying just because because he's so into like helping people out and like he's just a genuine person. Now I feel bad because like I, I love his channel. I'm gonna stay true to myself. I have not watched all of his videos. I kind of forgot about him for a second, for a little hot second, but I'm gonna get back on it. I do enjoy a good Mr. Beast video. 
All right, now moving on to the vlog squad. TBH, don't watch everyone. I know every single person in the vlog squad has their own channels. However, I'm not gonna lie and be like, oh my God, yeah, I watch everyone because I don't. And this person put them in as a whole group. So I'm gonna put the vlog squad under get your coin because I do, I am subscribed to some of them. Obviously I'm subscribed to David, love his videos. Um, but besides that, I don't know if I watch anybody else. I do watch Sane and Heath unfiltered podcast. I like everyone in the vlog squad, but I don't go on their channels. You know, does that make sense? Next, we got the daily dropout. These are the videos that I watch at 3 a.m. in the morning. Daily dropout is such a good channel to watch when you're like ready to go to bed, I feel like. They are my put me to bed videos. Funniest pranks, love the short little videos, love that. Anyways, uh, we're gonna put the daily dropout in I watch religiously because they got some good ass pranks and I really like Laura. I feel like we could be friends. Okay, Miss Tana Mojo is next. Um, a little bit on the fence about get your coin and I'm subscribed because I am subscribed but I haven't been watching her lately and she also hasn't been posting lately besides like her story times. I'm like, I have mixed feelings about Tana. I feel like she'd be such a dope person in real life but I don't know. Right now I'm being ballsy and I'm gonna put her in get your coin. I feel like if I had a good Emma Chamberlain or David Dobrik or Mr. Beast video next to a Tana Mojo video, I'm gonna click the others and not the Tana Mojo video. No offense, love her, she's a babe. I would I would still click her video after, just to clarify, but there's people that I would watch before her video, if that made any sense. Okay, Tana Mojo stands don't come after me. Love her, she's a queen, I've already established that, but I'm gonna just put her in get your coin, sis. Get your coin. And she's killing it on OnlyFans. You know, I feel like YouTube is not her main space anymore. So that's why she's in that tier. I feel like she has her OnlyFans. Probably killing it on that. Get your coin there too, sis. Just like. Jess and Gabriel. Personally, I don't watch their channel. I did once or twice, like a couple years ago. I think Eli actually was friends with Gabriel when he lived in Florida, but they're cute. Let's let's look something up. Let's let's check them out on on the tube. And then I'll be honest and I'll be like, yeah, I would probably watch them. Okay, already right off the bat, I know that if I watch that wedding video, I will shed some tears. So, which by the way, super off topic, but I saw that Cody Ko did a video with his girlfriend that was like, it was like a try not to cry challenge. If you guys want me to do that with Eli, send me like sad TikToks or like send me sad videos on my Instagram DMs. That will be my next video. I probably watch their channel just because they're like around the same age as like me and Eli. I do love a good couple channel that's not like all pranks and like all challenges. I'm gonna put them under I'm subscribed because I just subscribed. Next, we got Kian and JC. TBH, again, this is a channel that I'm not very familiar with. Like, I know who they are. Um, I've definitely seen them. I've probably watched like one or two of their videos. I feel like in person, they'd be like such good vibes too. So I'm gonna subscribe to them as well. Um, I don't know why I haven't watched them. They seem really cool. Yeah, I'll probably start watching them though. So thanks for suggesting that, guys. I'm gonna put them under I'm subscribed. I think I watched their reality house season one. Yeah, I like their channel. Now we got Miss Lauren Geraldo, Miss 1230, wait, Miss 12330. I love her. She's a queen. She is literally killing the YouTube game right now. She's so consistent, which I love. Love how motivational she is. I have done 12330. It's not an easy thing to do. Props to her for doing that shit every day. Anyways, I'm gonna put her under I'm subscribed because I am. I don't watch every single one of her videos, but when I don't watch every single one of her videos right away, I make sure that I do after. So yeah, she's a queen, love her. I'm gonna put her under I'm subscribed. Okay, Ava Jules, um, used to watch her, kind of grew out of like my Ellie, Hannah Maloche, Ava Jules stage a little bit. Um, still love their channels 100%, support. I do click on their channels once in a while to check them out, see what they're up to, see what my girlies are up to, but 
I'm not gonna lie and be like, this is what I watch because I don't. I feel like I'm such a like podcast person now that I like rarely watch like what I eat in a day, which is like kind of their content. Their videos are fun, but I watch like two minutes out of their videos and then like click out and be like, okay, this is cute, but I gotta go watch a podcast or something like that. I don't know. I'm kind of more of like a Alicia Marie, Lore DIY, because they're also like closer to like my age, I feel like. Um, so yeah, like love her channel though. She's such a cutie pie. Ava Jules, I'm gonna put on not my cup of tea, but I respect the grind. Oh, actually no, I feel like she's too nice to be put in that category. I'm gonna put her in get your coin sis, cause I respect. Act of cell protection. I'm gonna put this man under get your coin because I don't necessarily watch every single one of his videos but when I do they're great and they're so helpful you know when you're like scrolling and you're going through your recommended and it's like how to avoid a possible kidnapper and it's just like so intriguing obviously I'm, I'm not like subscribed which I probably should be actually now that I think about it because like who doesn't need helpful tips you know like everyone could use some helpful martial arts I'm gonna put him under I'm subscribed because I am gonna subscribe he's a little cutie pie love his channel super helpful informative how to not get kidnapped like very important I think that wraps up about most of the people that you guys sent. If I did every single one, this video would have taken me like five hours to like go to their page, get a picture. But maybe I'll do a part two. If you guys like this video, I can do a part two and do more of the YouTubers that you guys watch. If you did make it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna start doing shout outs again. So if you watch this video, send me a screenshot that you watched it, that you're subscribed and that you have your post notifications on and you will be the next video shout out. This video it was so fun to make. This was just for funsies, just to clarify once again. Please, if you're a stan of anyone that I put in the lower tiers, don't come for me. This is my opinion. But yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. I'm so down to do a part two, so let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy New Year. Hope you guys have the best day ever and just know that you're gonna kill it in 2021. Mwah. Bye.